Hello everyone, my name is Maria and I wanted today to do this short tutorial on how I uh, create a sky. This will be a night sky uh, using Distress inks. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I already colored the image. I still have to finish up the boots, I just noticed. But um, I already colored it pretty much. I need to color the boots and the eyes and then I, am, I did also the um, snow banks using uh, tumble glass uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the sky so I'm gonna start with using um, broken china and I am going to use this little tool here I like it because it's round and it's easier to control and I'm gonna use also uh, faded jeans and then also seedless preserves so I'm gonna start I like to turn it and get my sponge really nice and wet. This one's a little dry for some reason, so I want to start. This is a little not straight there enough, so I'm going to go and start off the paper and then work my way in very carefully because I didn't mask my image, so I don't I want to make sure I don't get any ink on it. Um, so I'm going to be, stop, you know, get very close to it. Sometimes I just go and go ahead and do like this so I don't, instead of the circular motion, when I'm getting close to it, I kind of just, I don't know if you can see that, I'm just kind of just rubbing it and pulling away. So here I'm going to continue in a circular motion. If you notice, I just get some ink off first because I don't want to get too much ink on here. And uh, continue like this. Everybody has their way of doing it. This is the way I do it. So that's the first coat using Broken China. Then I'm going to change my pad and I'm going to use Faded Jeans. To get it darker because I want I'm look going for a dark night a night sky I should say so I'm gonna start see this is a little darker so very carefully I'm going to uh, darken up the top you know so I want to keep a little bit lighter around it like it has a little glow and I want to go all the way down to the bottom and then you blend the two inks together. Oops, I almost got it on him. Okay. There we go. So that's when I'm happy with it. Then I move on to the next color, which is the Seedless Preserve. Just a little bit of purple. And that's Seedless Preserve. That's a really nice purple. And I am going to go ahead very careful with this one because this one is very dark. So I just want to kind of see it's just already. If I made a mistake like that where you can see that it looks too dark, I go back with the blue over it and count it, kind of lighten it up a bit because I got too much dark there. But you just kind of work with it and work with it as you like it this side much better than this one but I'll fix it <clears throat> so now I'm gonna go back with I'm gonna go back with the faded jeans which is the blue the darker blue and I'm gonna go over it to see if I can get some of that purple off <clears throat> let's see how that works I just kind of go over the purple and so it is wet it wets the paper and kind of blends in nicely just kind of keep working it and working it until you're happy with it and just blend those colors out
Okay, now I'm gonna go with the last blue, which is the lightest blue. I don't know if it will make much of a difference, but at least I wanna get a little bit of the bottom there. So let's see, so I'm just gonna go like this and kinda be very careful with the snow banks so I don't mess them up too much. And just kinda get some blue down there. And the same here. You got a little bit of blue, purple there, but if you don't tell anybody, nobody will know. But I just told you. <laughs> All right. So there. I think I'm gonna stop right there. We can go over it again, just to blend it even more, so you get a nice smooth. So there you go, that's a little night sky, and then you have like a little horizon blue there that looks really pr real pretty. So now what I like to do is you can wait until it is dry or I'm a little impatient. So I just go ahead and go with my white gel pen and I'm gonna make some stars. So I'm just gonna go, you know, just randomly just draw little stars and you have to be careful because this is wet and if you touch it it will smear so be very I've done it many so many times and if it comes out too light you can always go over it and you can also add some glitter to make them shiny and there you go. That's my short tutorial on how I do a night sky. Again, I use the faded jeans. I use seedless preserves and also broken china. Okay, I hope you like my little tutorial and you can see on the description below, you can see all the uh, description on what I used and the colors that I also used to color this little elf and I'm gonna turn it into a ornament. Thank you for watching. And again, oh, and also this is uh, this image is from Alicia Bell. Thank you.